Okay, I'm just about ready to start assembling my CNC router parts. Uh, 4848 uh, CNC router. Uh, right now I have all the electronics set up, checking everything out, make sure it works. Uh, we have the, not sure how to pronounce the name, Hai Yang inverter and a 2.2 kilowatts liquid cold spindle. And also have a breakout board that I got from Zap Automation. It is the uh, UIM 2901-5A. Uh, the nice thing about the board is it gives you two axes outputs for the X uh, for a gantry machine with a dip switch or excuse me a jumper that allows you to reverse the uh, polarity directions or pulse directions so that they run opposite of each other or in line with each other. The <clears throat> Stepper motors that I have and drivers are from Long's Motor in China. They're 1600 ounce inch uh, dual shafts. Uh, nice little kit. Uh, four motors, four drivers, two power supplies, and it also comes with another breakout board, which I'll save as a secondary input output board. And I have the uh, Mach 3 setup and Currently, uh, it is also set up to output to the VFD, so that it can control the spindle speed. Um, have a little problem with uh, getting the frequency set just right, but it does function. That was the other reason uh, I looked at this board, is because it has the pulse wave modulation output capability. You will have to set the jumper on the board to eliminate the enable for the stepper drivers. Uh, in order to function the relay to turn things off and on. And of course I have my dust deputy that I just got in that I'll be setting up for uh, of course uh, cleaning up the sawdust and so forth. So what I'll do is real quickly is I'll just hit the start and you'll see everything function. Spindle turns on. Servo motors are moving. program in Mach 3, that little road gritter that comes with it, just to test everything out. And, in the program, then the spindle shuts off. So, from a functionality standpoint, just a little tweaking yet to go. Of course, I'll have to do some calibration once I get everything bullet on the machine and start it up. But so far, everything looks pretty good. Next step will be starting the assembly of the base of the machine.